protests like these are sweeping Pakistan. Anger against the government is brewing after over 40 Shias were killed in an ambush on passenger vehicles. The deadly attack took place in Parachinar, which is located in Kuram district of the restive Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province that borders Afghanistan. Parachinar has a history of sectarian clashes between Shias and Sunnis, but this is the deadliest in years. The attack took place as a convoy of vehicles headed from Parachinar to Peshawar came under heavy gunfire. Women and little children were among the casualties. As relatives and friends mourned the collective loss, businesses and other establishments in the area remained shut. <laughs> The Zanana Mojudi, the Buragon Mojudi, or the Musafiron Utsub, the Gunotsvi, the Waki Hilop, the Parachinor Trade Union, Osara Mushron, Oham, the Tin Rosa Sokilon Kadere. Elsewhere in Pakistan, people took to the streets demanding what they are calling the genocide of Shias and an end to terrorism. Anger against the security establishment, the provincial administration and the federal government is boiling over. People are asking, if Parachinar is a part of Pakistan, why isn't it safe? This case is a safe place and the security administration and the government also say that Parachinar is a strong part of Pakistan. This banner in Urdu embodies the state Parachinar and the whole Pakistani state finds itself in. It reads, A handful of terrorists go on the rampage and the government does nothing to show them their place. And if the state won't act, people are threatening to take the law into their own hands. We are going to talk about the government. If the government can't do anything against them, then we can't do anything against them. Then we are going to make a law and make a law and make a law and make a law. Meanwhile, Pakistani Prime Minister Sheba Sharif's ex-handle, which condemns laws of life in Muslim countries abroad, is silent on a tragedy that has befallen Shia minorities at home.